Hey everyone, <clears throat> got a little extra time on my hands as do a lot of people these days so I figured I would uh, start a new segment or whatever. It's going to be called Guitar of the Day. So I'm going to take a few of my favorite ones and uh, for who might be interested I'll just uh, grab a guitar and explain to you details of it, uh, why I like it, um, how it sounds, uh, maybe play a little bit. Uh, got a few to choose from. It's, it's always been kind of a revolving door. I've got half a dozen that, you know, I, I won't sell due to sentimental reasons, but uh, usually I've got to get rid of something to get something else. But uh, So this is the current collection, I guess. So the first one I'm going to start out with is one that's actually sitting on a stand here in the jam room. And it is a I think it's 2016. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at dating this stuff, but it's a it's a 58 model uh, 335. And uh, <clears throat> there's basically what it is, kind of a tobacco sunburst. It probably has another name besides that. Another thing I'm not too good at is telling you one sunburst from another. Uh, I don't pay too much attention to that kind of stuff anymore. Um, but, um, let's say it's a 2016, um, 335 maple poplar maple body, um, plywood, um, now the neck, it's a, it's a 58, so it's a chunky neck, but it's not really wide, but it's pretty thick from uh, front to back and consistently thick all the way down, but it's still pretty comfortable. I'm more of a, uh, slim taper uh, neck kind of player but this one actually feels pretty comfortable and I'm not as picky as I used to be as long as it stays in tune and sounds good I'll find a way to play it um, now it's got uh, Clouson tuning keys uh, I just noticed that uh, two of them are different than the other four and I'm not sure why that is but they all work so not too worried about that either. Um, Rosewood fretboard. Fretboard has no binding. Uh, most 335s do. This is kind of a, a simpler look, but uh, I like it. Um, dot inlays. Uh, nylon nut and nylon bridge saddles. Now, um, the nylon nut and the bridge saddles both. I prefer nylon lately. Most of my stuff I switch out to that. Seems like it tames the high end a little bit without making it too muddy. And uh, lately, treble seems to too much treble seems to annoy me. So uh, I usually use nylon. This came with nylon saddles and nylon nut stock. Um, you know the electronics. Again, I'm guessing on a lot of this stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a 500K audio taper pots, your regular switchcraft, uh, three-way switch. Uh, pickups, I believe, are MHS. Gibson MHS stands for like Memphis Historic Spec or whatever. Now, there was a couple of different versions. I'm not sure which these are. They sound fine. They seem like they have a medium output. I don't think they're potted. So if you're using some high gain, then you might have to do the feedback dance to keep them from squealing on you. But they do, they do sound really good. All the hardware, uh, the, the stop tail and the ABR bridge, um, all that stuff is, is what they call VOS, which is basically the gloss has been taken off the nickel finish to make it look older. Um, and that's that's about it now the sound uh well getting back to the wiring uh the wiring is um uh, as most of these uh, 335 you know reproductions or, or vintage spec models are uh it's what they call uh, output loaded or you may see the term 50s wiring basically what that means it's output loaded and the tone control is really interactive with the volume control and 
mainly what it does, it allows you when you turn the volume control down, you still retain <clears throat> the high end when you even turn the volume down, which is good. You can do that to other wiring schemes by adding what's called a treble bleed capacitor, but uh, this is a more simple way of doing it. But also with this 50s output loaded wiring scheme, you get a lot of more interaction between the uh, controls. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. Um, I really didn't know anything about it till about five years ago, and now I'm kind of hooked on that on that uh, 50s wiring. And I like the fact that you can get a lot of tones just by manipulating your controls. And if you're riding, you know, a, a, a tube amp, an old style tube amp, or you know, even a distortion or overdrive pedal, you can get a lot of tones just by manipulating your your volume and tone. Here's an example. Uh, I'm going to put it on the front pickup and I'm going to turn both the volume and tone wide open. That's kind of a full sound that you would associate with, with Gibson. Um, but if you turn the volume down from let's say 10 to 7 you still retain that high end and it kind of pretties it up a little bit now if you were to take the tone control and roll it down from about 10 to about 7 to my ears it seems to cut the the mid-range out a little bit and almost get you into single coil territory uh, which is good. You get a lot more chime out of it. Let's see if I can do that. So here's the volume all the way up. Here's the volume down to 7. Then here's the tone control rolled down from 10 to 7. So you get that uh, jangly type sound. And that usually what I do, and I didn't always do it this way, I usually had my guitar at full volume and full tone most of the time but um, lately I've been leaving the toggle switch in the middle and uh, putting everything on seven and it, it, you get something like this uh, Usually what I do, if I want a, a more of a, a lead pickup sound, I'll still leave that switch in the middle, but I'll just turn the uh, the uh, lead pickup volume up. Or if I want a front pickup smoother type of lead sound, I'll turn that one up. you can get just by manipulating the, the volume controls. Uh, back to the guitar itself, it's real stable tuning wise. The truss rod seems to um, not have to be tweaked very much. Uh, I haven't touched it since I've got it. I've had it maybe about uh, a month to six weeks or better. So I'm gonna try to kick on some minor blues here and uh, show you what it sounds like kind of in a full band context so let's see what we can do